Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician and today we're going to be going into a PB Swiss product and as the thumbnail shows it is the Stubby Insider Screwdriver. So recently I've been picking up some PB Swiss tools and been very pleased with them. So a lot of people have used them, a lot of people have suggested them, they're very highly rated and you're getting a good quality tool. The key to PB Swiss is finding the deals, when to buy them and where to buy them. So that is the key because PB Swiss can be quite expensive if you buy them at their full price. So the best thing to do is do your research and try and find the best deals. I will have this product linked down in the description, but keep in mind that if it's at its full price, it may not be worth it. Not all of them are over, overpriced, or I shouldn't say overpriced, just priced pretty expensively. Keep an eye out for the deals because you can save a lot of money when you catch them on sale and you're getting a good quality product. At least from my experience, I haven't been disappointed with any of them so far. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'll share the specs, features, pricing, all of that information with you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the tool down in the description if you guys own it or if you're thinking of purchasing it. Hopefully this video helps out. And uh, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe and smash that thumbs up if you enjoy the content. So here we're looking at the PB Swiss stubby screwdriver, more specifically the PB8453. This is the insider stubby screwdriver with the Swiss grip. They have different grips. They also have one that's not the insider that's just gonna be the stubby screwdriver. So they have quite a bit of different variations, but I liked this one. I liked the Swiss grip and I wanted something that had the insider ability to hold bits and it was priced very well. Uh, especially for a PB Swiss product because like I stated in the intro some of these tools can get quite expensive like this guy over here but that will be in the next PB Swiss video here is the packaging that it came in just says PB Swiss tools the part number the bits in the handle and it is a new product with this it is going to hold your quarter inch bits so it doesn't have to be a PB Swiss bit and it is magnetic, and I'll tell you one thing, that is one of my favorite things about the PB Swiss bit screwdrivers is they use a very, very strong magnet. Uh, so it holds the bits very well. You can see, I know obviously in videos, magnetism is kind of hard to show, but for a bit driver, this thing has a nice strong magnet. You don't have to worry about, you know, when you're working and then you remove your screwdriver, it pulling the bit out with it. And that is with the vessel bits. Also keep in mind that anything in the videos where we're doing the top down shot like this, anything surrounding the video is most likely going to be in the tools and tools continued link in the description. So those are gonna be two links in the description that have a long list of tools that I suggest. But anything that we're specifically going over in the video will have its own dedicated link so it's easy to find down in the description. So I tried to make that as easy as possible for you guys. But just looking at this a little bit closer, you can see Swift PB Swiss Tools, PB8453, Swiss made. I'm not sure how well that's going to be picked up. Uh, and then you got the barcode. And then each PB Swiss tool actually has a serial number on it. And then, like I stated, this is the insider. So with this, you, you got the black cap here. And you just simply pull out on that. And then you kind of feel it snap. And there you have access to all of your bits in this carousel and it does rotate so you can easily find the bits that you want. And I do believe there are some different variations among their tools, not specifically this one, but sometimes you can get the same tools with different bits. But this is going to have the Phillips head one and two, a slotted, and then you have a T15, T20, T25. So basically all of my most commonly used bits and I absolutely love PB Swiss bits. They're very good quality, very good fitment and they're color coded. So, you know, you got like this brown for slotted, you got like this goldish bronze for Phillips and then like this blue steel for your Torx. So a nice easy identifier and very good quality bits. I would actually buy a bit set like this from PB Swiss if they weren't so expensive. A set like this is probably around $150 from PB Swiss 
where this vessel one made in japan is 30 dollars, and i really enjoy these bits as well so this is a fantastic product for a really good price and if i could get the pb swiss bits for a little bit better price i would definitely go with these just because i've really enjoyed these uh now in here i i wouldn't think that these would hold the bits very well because when you close this they do move up and down but they do have a stop plate up here as you can see so it prevents the bits from you know coming out of their little tension holder and they're very easy to remove but they don't go anywhere so for how lightly they're held in there they hold very well i haven't had one fall out yet so great job on that very little tension to get these out very easy to install and remove they don't come out and get lost so i really like that the other thing that i really like is how small this stubby screwdriver is so just a comparison i have my carlisle and my gear wrench here these are just your standard stubby screwdrivers you can see there just how stubby this screwdriver is so i actually prefer a stubby screwdriver just because i have more control over it the longer a screwdriver gets the less control you get over it uh, now obviously when working in recessed areas or tight areas you may need something obviously longer but when i'm going for speed like when i was working on the race car checking all the fasteners on the body the stubby screwdriver was the fastest well for one i didn't want to nick up the the windows so i had more control over this i get straight on the fastener check them make sure everything's snugged up this, it's the fastest way instead of running up there, taking the chance of stabbing the window or anything like that. Just having a nice stubby screwdriver, I have more control over it and more speed with it. So that is why a stubby screwdriver is actually my go-to screwdriver. This is actually the one that I used on the race car and uh, love this screwdriver. But for a multi-bit screwdriver, this PB Swiss is definitely my go-to. Once again, I, I love that magnetism and I love the bits that are included and the fact that it's all here nicely so i have everything i need right there might as well just show you the fitment of the screw with the phillips head there's no play in here a very good fitment that's just the screw moving and it, it works very well uh, being able to get speed with that back plastic cap it just it rotates in the hand so nicely and uh, you still get a lot of good grip sorry i don't mean to turn the block that's cheating i i love how this spins so while i'm spinning it doesn't even it just spins on that cap and it just makes for really quick fast easy work so definitely my go-to now if you guys have used pb swiss please let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments. It's actually going to be two and a half inches long. Maybe just a hair over two and a half inches long. So, so it is quite small. The handle is the PB Swiss uh, Santa Preen, which is actually a really nice material. I, I really like it. It's got like this grit feeling to it. It's very grippy. The back is going to be plastic so I can still get speed with it. My hand rotates on that back cap very nicely. And with these sides and indentions you can definitely get a lot of torque with this stubby so that is one of the things that i love about pb swiss the material that they use and just the design of the handle it's very comfortable while still allowing you to get a lot of torque made in switzerland it does have a lifetime guarantee i have yet to use a pb swiss warranty but from what i've seen on a couple of reviews where somebody did have to have a warranty it was very quick for where the product is coming from and uh, was pretty hassle free. Once again, they do have other variations available. They have this in ratcheting. They also have it in a non insider version, but this one was actually $30 or 29 something. So I really liked that, especially since it was the bits included. I figured it was the best deal after looking at all of them. The ratcheting one at the time was almost $90. And while I really liked that ratcheting design, I wasn't about to drop 90 bones on a stubby ratcheting screwdriver. So this has 4.8 stars on Amazon and it has 88 ratings. So rated 
a decent amount and rated highly. So this is definitely one that I would consider if you're one that is looking for a multi-bit non-ratcheting stubby screwdriver. This is my go-to now and uh, I've really enjoyed it. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Once again, this will be linked down there. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.